Hello, good morning. How good to see you here again. Thank you for hanging on. And if this is your first time with me, my name is Merel Slotboom. I'm a Dutch kinesiologist. Um, I call myself the kinesiologist on the move because I live in a camper van and I work from it. And I mostly do balances long distance. And I sometimes go back to the Netherlands to see clients that want to see me live. Um, and I'm an author and I'm a trainer. And I am sitting here uh, close by my most favorite mill in Sweden. Um, this is a little bit the sound you hear in the background. It's the running of the water. I will get up and you can have a look. So, uh, but it's for now, it's the best spot to do this balance. So um, that's why we're here. <laughs> you know me, I'm always in the best spot with the best company. And in this case, I'm uh, accompanied by my son and by my dog, uh, which is wonderful. Um, and I may stay here because I have a lovely friend here and it's his place and I, uh, I spent some time here. So I'm very grateful. Um, I've been thinking about the ninth video or vlog in the series Transcending the Ego Mind. And I knew it had to do with karma. This one is called karma. Um, but I had to collect data. I wanted to start doing it already three days ago, but I had to run into a video uh, that's called uh, Ego is Karma by Dr. Hawkins. I'll find the link again and put it underneath this video so you can listen to it. And I had to listen to somebody else and I only found her this morning. <laughs> And she is a very positive American woman and she, I think she's called Sue, she has a double name. I'll find her too and I'll find the link and um, then you can see how I got to this information. So Dr. Hawkins says that karma and ego are the same thing. Um, it's lower energies, it's below the 200s if you look at them. Um, on a scale from zero to 1000 on the consciousness level, they're against life and they're making your life, um, the emotions are making your life harder. And um, when we have karma with a person or a place or a job or anything or an animal even, um, I'm just checking, can you have karma with an animal? Yes, you can. Um, my dog, for example, I don't have karma with her, but she comes to me in a different form all the time. So I remember her last form and um, she's with me now again and, and it feels wonderful. She, uh, my youngest son, he can, um, he can spiritually see and he saw us standing together and she looked like a um, lupo, like a, not a lion, a wolf. A wolf with um, fire coming from her tail, like nine tails in, uh, in Pokemon. Or no, it's another story, but it doesn't matter. So it's like, she's like a mythical soul, always companioning me. I don't know if you can say this, um, in my journeys. And she's with me now and it feels very good. Um, karma. Oh, there's this saying, they say, karma is a bitch and then you marry one. Very nice. Uh, very low in frequency, by the way. Um, very often you're entangled with other people uh, in karma and you need to get rid of it, need to get over it, transcend it in order to have a better relationship or let go. You just encounter them so you can know as a mirror they are telling you there is something you can work on. and, and once you've done that, you can let go of it. And very often this person also uh, goes away from your life at that moment. Or the relationship changes, shifts. Uh, so today we're going to do a balance to let go of all karma. Because karma is keeping us low and down in energy and it's keeping us in the area of the um, ego mind. And we are doing these vlogs because we want to let go of them. And if you do all the vlogs and you'll feel much better by now, I think, you, you should at least. <laughs> I've had some lovely comments coming to me and uh, people feel much better. Some people even sleep with it, some people 
keep repeating the same one. I have a dear friend and he thought, oh, anger, no, I never have anger. I, I don't think I have to do anger. <laughs> He's been doing anger for quite some repetitive times and he feels much better now. So, um, 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 um. but when you still have karma, you still slide back into the lower realms and it doesn't feel nice. So what we're going to do actually now is doing a balance for karma and letting go of it. And I believe you will attract the things you have to learn from um, and the energies you will send out. Um, and you don't need karma to hook you up completely to learn and to expand in life. You can do that another way too. So, um, oh, I didn't bring my water. <laughs> I hope sitting next to a waterfall is enough water for us this time. Um, and I'm going to be sitting there a little bit because it's really sunny in my face and um, I'm having a hard time looking into the camera. Uh, let's see how this will be for me and for you guys. And if you can still see me behind me, you see the mill now. Uh, let's put you horizontally. Yes. That's a bit better, I think. Okay, cool. So we're going to start doing the balance uh, pre-tests at first. I can lower my arms a little bit now. That's nice. The actual um, corner in which the arm should be is more or less like this. So I push my arm strong, pinch goes down strong. This works well. Uh, we say yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes. This is for me, this is for the whole group, and this is for all the people watching later on uh, who all want to get rid of karma that is blocking them in becoming the being that they really are, like light and love and holiness. <laughs> okay, and um, meridian going down and up. Switching, very good. Water, you have to drink for me. I have no water here. I'll connect to the lovely water of the Werke On, which is the river floating by here. <sighs> lovely, so water is strong now. Eyes, close by, far away, close by, up, down, side, sides. I'll do it. I'm doing a round, it feels good. Um, Ears, very good. Um, polarity. Um, and massive reversal, which is, seems to be good. We want to lead a happy life. We want to lead a healthy life. Okay. And now uh, we want to check if there's psychological reversal. We want to let go of all karma. Not a bit, all. Mm, no. So we start tapping. So tap with me. Uh, we're tapping here. It's small intestine number three. You can hit it like this or this. Whatever feels best for you. If you're sitting at a table with other people and you think this is embarrassing, just press your hands against the table and it will have the same effect. And you repeat the sentences in your head and you say, I love myself. I accept myself. I respect myself and I think myself worthy, even though I want to stay entangled in karma and in karmic realms and want to stay limited and far away from who I really am, which is love and light and being holy. And I love and accept myself and I respect myself and I think myself worthy when I, for now and for always, want to let go of karmic relationships and karmic realms and karmic situations and places. I trust that I will learn by connecting more and more to love and light and feeling holy. So we now as a group and a group in the future we want to let go of our karma. Yes, we do. If you feel that it was you who 
had the psychological reversal and you didn't really, really want to let go of karma, um, tap more. Do this three times in a row, at least three times a day. Do it when you feel shitty and do it at least three weeks. Um, karma has been going on as long as you live and um, so <laughs> you might take some time to just really want to let go of it. Uh, we have been so used or gotten used to our prisons and to our bad relationships that we are so frightful uh, of becoming who we really are and um, I remember in the vlog I saw earlier today with Sue, I don't remember the rest of her name, I'll, I'll find it, I'll put it in the link, and her final question is, can it be any better than this? How, how magnificent can it be? She used other words, it's more or less like this. How wonderful, am I allowing all the wonderful things to come to me? Which, if you look at it, is more or less the other side of karma. Here you're entangled in um, lower emotions, things going wrong, um, and the other side is how much good stuff can there possibly be in my life? Well, as you see on the video, it's pretty fantastic already in my life, but I did a test earlier this morning and it was completely blocked, so I was not allowing more better stuff coming to me. So um, I did a balance for it, so it should be fine for me right now. And that's why I can do the balance with you as a group. Because if I was completely balanced, I would not, uh, uh, blocked, I would not be able to guide you guys in this balance. So let's see, we are fully letting go of karma and we're opening up to the most wonderful life situations, relationships that can possibly come to us. This is almost like quantum jumping and what I do in my book uh, From IQ to QI. Um, it's uh, not on the market yet in English, but it's there in Dutch, Van IQ naar QI. And you can find it on my website, selfanizer.nl. And uh, it's like a quantum jump that we're going to do now, actually. So let's see, because I did not think of a correction. Let's see what we're going to do. How much energy is there to let go of karma and to jump to that most wonderful, holy situation where all the good stuff can come to us? We have 40, 14, 30, 40, 20, 40, 10, 40, 0, 40. So there's no energy in our systems whatsoever to let go of karma and to open up to the best life possible. Uh, let's see, are we going to work with the balance of um, and the quantum eye portal no um, i'll go through my modes this is like a rolodex i'm i'm keeping all the possible corrections inside here and this is kinesiology uh, going through your modes people that know kinesiology know this um, ah we're going to connect we've done this before this is very nice um, if you look at this this is a mode i've uh, twisted my index finger and my middle finger and I'm holding together my thumb and my pinky finger. This for me is earth, this is for me heaven. So it's yin and yang and this for me is me, <laughs> me, me, uh, being focused in the now because there's only now. There's no past and there's no future, there's only now. And I can check if we in this balance are connected to the heavens and to the earth because these energies should flow right through us. So I'll be, I'll be testing on my finger because I have no, no arm to push. So when I go from the heavens going down to our heads and just above the head, my finger slips. So the yang energy can not, it comes up to here, but it doesn't enter our bodies. Then I do the same, but I point at the middle of the earth. And it's strong coming up, coming up to the coccyx, first two, three, four chakras, throat. Here it goes wrong. So <clears throat> the throat chakra um, is about uh, knowing what you want and expressing is it and telling um, other people, yes, I would really like that because it gives me joy. It gives me pleasure. I love doing that. And 
no, thank you. I don't think that's a good idea. I should not be doing this. So um, your, th your throat is, has to do with speaking your own truth and it has, it's like a compass. It should be aligned ni nicely in the centers for you to walk straight and for you to take a turn. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, we're going to correct it in a very nice way. Um, yesterday I was walking and checking my walking and what muscles I use and how can I walk better. So uh, it is light and energetic. It doesn't cost me any energy. I can walk effortlessly. And then I noticed that you can use your lower jaw um, like a joystick. When you hold this or hold it like this, and you're walking and you push to the left, you're actually making a turn to the left. And when you push to the right, you're making a turn to the right. And when you raise your chin, you're going faster. And when you pull it down, it's like breaking, you break down. <laughs> so we're going to do the correction for yin and yang, connecting heaven and earth for overcoming all karma and becoming the holy creatures that we really are for opening up for the best possible life by doing this. So um, I'll test again on my finger. I'm pushing up and it's strong. I'm pushing down and it's strong. I'm pushing to the left and it goes weak and to the right it goes weak as well. Uh, now I'll use um, a technique of mine. I'll, I'll make a whole, whole course of this. It's not on, online yet. It's, it's brewing. It's called um, divine jamming, DJing. And we do like this. We rub our hands. And normally we would do like a DJ. So we would hold our hands and then do like this as if there's a disc on a disc player. And you do like wah, 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 wah. Uh, and you're feeling how far you can go with your hand, but we're going to do it on the chin now. So I'm holding my hand actually, and I feel like I'm going to the right and the left all the time. So it's not making rounds, but I'm going left, right, left, right, um, until I feel that our chin, our lower jaw, finds a relaxed position in the center, which allows us to walk straight, and be present in the now, let go of karma, open up to the best life possible. <sighs> Can you feel this guys? I feel this very much also in the back of my neck and in my shoulders and I feel I'm straightening up with my whole body, hips, knees, ankles, it's like I'm aligning to my course, to my road, to my destination, the path of life. I think this is enough. I will retest. So up is strong, down is strong, left is strong, right is strong. Very good. And we're going to recheck now the connecting having an heaven and earth. So I'm going up from to the skies. I have my test here. This is strong. It keep, stays strong. It stays strong and it stays strong until we reach the center of the earth. Wonderful. Now I go up from the center of the earth through us past the throat and to the heavens, which is wonderful. So now you actually only have to look at, at your hands like this and you stay focused with you. You don't dissolve with other people or their karma or their roots and roads. You stay very loyal to you and your path <clears throat> and you speak your truth. So now let's see how much karma have we released and how much have we opened up to the best, holy, wonderful, light, loving life that we deserve because we are that and only that. So let's see. Um, we have let go of karma and opened up to the best possible life. Um, 0, 40, 10, 40, um, 20, 40, 30, 40, 40, 40. Yes, that's the maximum. So we are now all capable of doing this. Um, if you feel you need to see this video like 10 or 20 or 100 times, 
don't hesitate, do this. This is the best you can ever do. Because being free from karma and from ego and opening up to who you really are is what we are doing here on Earth. And uh, then you start radiating, then you start doing the things you love best and life becomes fun. You can actually create heaven on Earth. So I'll leave links in the description box. Um, like, share, uh, tell me uh, how you felt before and how you're feeling now. Um, there's a whole series, if it is, this is the first you're looking at. Um, I have made eight before and they're all about how you can transcend the ego mind and become who you really are, this wonderful, wonderful creature of love and light. We all are, all are. Okay. Much love from me to you. See you soon.